under some burnt sky. On the same we are team leaders for Global Village, which is an international program for habitat, and we enjoy putting together teams of people to travel to different countries around the world to build houses for those who are in I'm Bob Manninger. I'm Amy, his wife. I'm Ken Myers from Portland, Oregon. And Linda Lauderdale from Portland, Oregon. My name is Teresa Ye, and I am from Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm a chemical engineer. Hi, I'm Joe Klessler from Santa Barbara, California. And I, what do I do? Well, I, <laughs> I like to travel. I'm Mike Burke and um, I'm a supervisor for Habitat for Humanity, Matkal, or Greater Auckland now as we're called. I'm Glenn, and this is Pat Tannis. We've, uh, we've been involved with Habitat for a lot of years, mostly in the United States. My name is Clemence Ravasson Rashan. I'm from Cunningville, Pennsylvania, which is a small uh, rural area uh, not too far south of Erie, Pennsylvania. My name is Veronica. I'm 19. I'm from uh, New Jersey, in the United States. And you are? Well, I'm Dennis Wolf. <laughs> Jan and I got married 11 months ago today, believe it or not. Hi, I'm Bob from Turkey. I'm a member of the Turkey Lions Club, and uh, we, as the Lions Club, have volunteered to assist Habitat for Humanity on these two houses. On the Hi, I'm Mike Rodrigue uh, from Olson, Montana, and we're here on a build in Tuakau, New Zealand. And we want to tell you a little bit about what our average workday is like. First thing we do is have a safety net. We talk at length about uh, what hazards are on the job and what bad practices we've seen in the previous days, which aren't usually many at all. And then we talk about what work we're going to do today and who's going to do what. Uh, everyone parcels themselves off uh, to different groups and then we start our work. Um, most of it is different phases of construction. Uh, some of them are painting and prepping, uh, cleanup, all sorts of things that appeal to a, a wide variety of peoples um, with different level of experience. So we start working and uh, it tends to be a, a Everyone's very energetic in the morning and uh, we're off to a great start. We're getting lots of things up and, and you know, in about two hours after that, everyone's starting to slow down. And in New Zealand, you always have uh, what we call a coffee break, but they call it the smoko. Uh, and I'm not sure exactly what's called the smoko, but I'm guessing it used to be a smoke break a long time ago. But now that a smoker is somewhat rare, uh, everyone seems to eat, so we eat. Okay, and obviously at noon, we break. And here in Tuakau, uh, local church ladies make us lunch. So we walk over, it's about, uh, I think about a quarter of a mile to a local church, and we sit down and we eat together. They do sort of a buffet for us here, and so you pick what you want. Um, it varies on different job sites. So after lunch, we go back to work, either continuing on what we were doing or new ones, and then have an afternoon break. And we, we start cleaning up around quarter of five here. Um, and because the weather is pleasant here, we can work for quite a long day. Oh, I've had a lot of fun on this build. I've been hammering some nails. <laughs> upside down so it took a it took a while but I got them in and what have you been doing on the build site um everything I've everything from like swinging a hammer working a skill saw um, putting up soffit on the roof with uh, Janelle and Teresa and everything that was good times yeah. 
I learned how to do a scaffold. Scaffolding? Yes, I put a scaffolding and a paint and I translate too. I've climbed a lot of ladders and pounded a lot of nails, including my own fingernails. <laughs> well, Jan, tell them, tell them. I have been doing all kinds of a variety of things, most of them non-nailing things because I don't nail a straight nail, but um, I've been doing painting and sanding and filling holes and, and um, insulating, putting up insulation. Things that we do on a build, they're, they're just things that, you know, unless you were a builder, you wouldn't normally do in your normal life. Um, we've been up on the roof, you know, nailing in with a nail gun or hammering in hurricane uh, Z nails um, and just having a blast. I guess I've been, uh, I've done a lot of swinging of the hammer. <laughs> you sure have. Uh, All week. Uh, working the saw, whether it's the chop saw or just the hand saw, and up on the roof a lot. And I seem to be able to handle heights in pretty good shape and I haven't fallen off yet and don't plan to. Thank goodness. That's right. <laughs> I think the one thing that people tend to be surprised about when they join something like this is they expect to give um, your time, um, their energy, and and their funds, but they're quite surprised by how rewarding it is. Um, I constantly hear the phrase from people, uh, I thought this was all about giving, but I've received more than I have given today or this week. And I think it's very surprising for people um, that it is so satisfying. I am actually blown away about how people can be so generous. I mean, you come all the way over here to help build out the house. You know, and you ask for nothing in return. I mean, that means so much to us. I don't think it goes so much. It's just a wonderful experience, and until you've tried it, uh, you have no idea what it's going to do for you. Uh, it could do what we've talked about, could do something completely different. So if you're thinking about volunteering, uh, give it a go, as they say here in New Zealand, and you might be quite surprised what it does for you, not just what you're doing for other people. We're in the trenches, lying low in the trenches. Don't want to give up anything, anything, we're in the trenches, lying low in the trenches. Goodbye. Get out and run and make it quicker than this No lion lamb Push through flooded fields Abandoned shit